<laughs> Let me uh, go to Matthew 25. Uh, Matthew 25 says something about when I was hungry, did you feed me? When I was naked, did you clothe me? When I was sick and in prison, did you visit me? When I was a stranger in your land, did you welcome me? We have a moral imperative to the least of these. We also, since we don't have unlimited uh, resources, we have a uh, fiscal imperative to meet that moral imperative in fiscally responsible ways. My colleagues know that I, I don't uh, necessarily like to focus on symptoms of problems. I like to focus on root causes of problems. And what we're talking about doing here is not just addressing the horrific situations on the border, and they are heart-rendering, and they are tragic, but to also address the root causes. Why are all these people coming across our borders? Why are they trying to uh, risk their lives and make it through Mexico to get to our borders? Why are they trying to do that? It's because they live horrific lives. They lack, I've been down there many times, all three countries and down along the border many times in my role in Home Life Security. And uh, Senator Heitkamp and I have been, been there together at times. But uh, lack of opportunity, crime, corruption, lack of health care, lack of education. They want out of there and they want to go to some place uh, where life is better. We are complicit in their misery. This country is complicit in, its misery, in their misery because of our addiction to drugs. And that's why we need to do something about it. As it turns out, as uh, Senator Schumer says, we've seen this movie before. We saw it 20 years ago in Colombia when a bunch of gunmen rounded up the uh, Supreme Court of the country of Colombia and shot all the justices to death. Drug cartels, leftist guerrillas trying to take down the government of that country. They uh, looked to us for some help, and we helped them. We didn't do it all for them, but it's a little bit like Home Depot. You can do it, we can help. And uh, a guy named uh, Clinton, a guy named Bill Biden, uh, worked on Plan Colombia to do just that. They have to do the heavy lifting. They've been doing it for 20 years, but we're helping them. Three years ago, we adopted something similar. Find out what works, do more of that. Plan Columbia works. It's still working. Now, we are the last, in the last three years ago, we established with the three, three Central American countries something called Alliance for Prosperity. It's just, it's a very much roots cause oriented uh, approach. It needs to be funded. This administration wants to reduce funding. Uh, we need to increase funding. I'm, I'm happy to hear that uh, the vice president is going to go down there. Initially, he was not going to go meet with the leaders of the three countries. He's going to do that now. That's a very smart move. Joe Biden and I used to do that kind of thing all the time. The last thing uh, I would, would say, if, uh, if I could, is um, we, we need oversight. We need oversight. We, have fund, we need to fund the, the Alliance for Prosperity. It's a, a modern-day version of Plan Columbia, and we need to do oversight to find what is working in that plan and what needs more money and what needs less. And uh, with that in mind, the lady who does is, is great in, uh, in oversight and this sort of thing, and she gets to sp speak last. But I just want to thank Senator Heitkamp for her great work in this area, and I'm pleased to be her wingman. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. To again quote.